Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Huck. Today I am doing my first book haul of 2019. So these are all of the books that I got in January and February. As usual, a lot of this haul is going to be fantasy, but at the beginning of January, the first few books that I bought this year were actually a whole bunch of poetry books. I have been wanting to read more poetry. I've mentioned it in pre previous videos. It's part of my goals for the year. Um, so I got one, two, three, four, five, six new books of poetry. So, you know, I will be prepared. <laughs> I've only read one of these so far, but I'm really excited to get to all of them. The first one that I have here is the one that I've already read, uh, which is Light Theory and the Darkness Within the Human Body by Robert M. Drake. Um, and I read this in January and I thought it was okay. I think it's not quite the kind of poetry that I'm looking for. I'm still trying to figure out exactly what it is that I am looking for and what I like in poetry. So, you know, it's there's a bit of a learning curve. There's a lot of experimenting with reading different poets. Um, but this is one that didn't quite hit the mark for me. The next book that I have is Fierce Fairy Tales, Poems and Stories to Stir Your Soul by Nikita Gill. Nikita Nikita Gill is a poet that I have read before. I read her book Wild Embers um, and this book though was actually recommended to me by Naomi over from Tea Time with Naomi so thank you for recommending it um, because I really enjoyed Wild Embers but I haven't really explored any of Nikita Gill's other books of poetry um, so when I saw this in the store I I recognized it and decided to pick it up. Then I picked up another poet that I have read before which is uh, Tyler Knott Gregson. This is Wildly Into the Dark. I read his book uh, Chasers of the Light I think last year and I enjoyed it so I thought I would pick up his next book of poetry. Then I picked up Old Soul Love by Christopher Poindexter and this one I just I flipped through it in the store and it seemed interesting to me so I thought I would try it out. And the same well thought out method went into picking Mind Platter by Najwa Zabian. Um, I just picked this one up and flipped through it and I thought it sounded really interesting. I enjoyed some of the ones that I read from here. And the last book of poetry that I have is Inward by Young Pueblo and this one I'm especially excited about because it is I think poetry that is all focused on introspection and the inner life and that is a topic that I love so I am super excited to get to this one. Now on to the fantasy books that I bought. First I have In an Absent Dream by Seanan McGuire. This is the fourth book in the Wayward Children uh, series of novellas. It follows the character Lundy who very briefly shows up in the first book um, and this is her backstory of traveling to the goblin market. I read this in January and I really enjoyed it. It's actually probably one of my favorites of the series so far and I'll link down below my January wrap-up if you want to know more about this. I also got the entire Tawny Man trilogy by Robin Hobb. This is the third series in the realm of the elderlings. The first book is Fool's Errand, the second book is The Golden Fool, and the third book is Fool's Fate. Um, so this series goes back to following Fitz and the Fool and kind of catching up with their storyline after the events of um, the Farseer trilogy and I think after the events also of the Live Ship Traders trilogy and I am interested to get into this one um, because I've mentioned on many of my videos that I kind of have mixed experiences with Robin Hobb's books but I do enjoy her writing a lot so I like to uh, read her books. Um, but right now my goal is that I read one series by her every year so this is the one for 2019. The next book that I have is The Heart of the Fae by Emma Hamm and this is actually one that one of my subscribers recommended to me a long time ago and I was trying to find the comment where they recommended this to me and I couldn't find it um, but whoever you are that recommended this to me like ages ago. Thank you very much because I do think this sounds like a book that I will really like. Um, it is a retelling of Beauty and the Beast where the Beast is one of the Fae and the main character has to uh, go into the world of the Fae to find the Beast. I think to get a cure for her father who is sick and the main character is also a midwife and is learning more about um, like the healing arts and things like that. And so this definitely sounds like a book that I will enjoy. I enjoy fairy tale retellings. I really like Beauty and the Beast especially but also I love healers in books. It is a type of character that I just absolutely adore. Any kind of healers 
I just love them. Um, so I'm really looking forward to this one. The next book that I have is The Binding by Bridget Collins, and this is one that I've also already read. I read it in February, so it will be in my February wrap-up, and there is a uh, review coming up because I absolutely loved this book. I gave it five stars. This book was so good, um, and it's a little hard to explain what it's about because it does change quite a bit over the course of the story. It kind of takes some turns, but it is a book about books. It is kind of a historical fiction, like an alternate history, sort of set, I think, in like a 1900s-ish England. Um, but in this world, books have a very different meaning than they do in our world. Books are created by having a binder remove a memory from somebody's mind and bind it into a book. Um, and so the people who are binders view themselves almost like doctors, that they are not trying to create books for people to read. They are kind of amputating these memories from people's minds to alleviate their pain. But in this world, bookbinding is also very taboo. So when our main character discovers that he actually has the ability to bind books, it creates a lot of turmoil for him, but he does go to become an apprentice. Um, so we learn more about bookbinding and how it works. But while he is apprenticing to become a bookbinder, Emmett discovers that there is a book with his name on it, which means that he had a memory bound at some point in his life, but he doesn't remember, of course, what it is or that it even happened. Um, so we kind of follow him as he is trying to figure out what happened. As I said, I absolutely loved this book and I got kind of obsessed with it while I was reading it, um, but also it is not out in the US just yet. I didn't realize that until uh, later, but I ordered it from Book Depository and it is out in the UK. So you can get it from Book Depository um, or if you don't live in the US, um, but it will be out in the US in April, I think. And the next book that I have is King of Scars by Leigh Bardugo. Oh, this is very shiny. Um, but this is the first book in her new, I think, duology that follows Nikolai. It is multi-perspective. It follows the perspectives of Nikolai, Nina, and Zoya. Um, and I'm actually currently reading this one and I'm enjoying it. I'm not as enthralled by it as some of the previous books that I've read by her, but I am enjoying this one. And then I have Tarot by Marissa Kennerson. And this book was one of my most anticipated of the year and I am excited to have it. I am really unclear about what this book is about. All I know is that it is set in a world that is based on tarot decks. So it uses some of the suits from tarot, it uses some of the archetypes from tarot, um, and I just think that sounds really interesting. I love things that use archetypes and I think tarot is really interesting so I am excited to read this one. And last up I have a couple of non-fiction books. Some of these are ones actually I was given. So at work I've mentioned before that um, we are going through kind of a big change at work and there were some books that um, we're supposed to read. So the first one is Originals, How Nonconformists Move the World by Adam Grant, and the other book was Give and Take, also by Adam Grant. And I have read Originals already, but not Give and Take. Um, I read this in January, so that's in my January wrap-up if you'd like to know more about it. I'm actually not totally sure what Give and Take is about, but it says, Why Helping Others Drives Our Success. So I guess it's about helping others. and. Maybe we'll find out, maybe not. Uh, this one I read as an audiobook, and this one I can't find an audiobook, so I'm not sure if it's gonna get read or not. And the last book that I have is The Road Back to You by Ian Cron and Suzanne Stable. And this is a book about the Enneagram, which is a personality assessment that is primarily used, I think, for like spiritual development. And I wanted to read this because the Enneagram is actually something that I have previously read quite a bit about, but it was a while ago, I think probably about 10 years ago, that I read a bunch of books about the Enneagram um, because I guess I haven't really talked about it on this channel, but personality is actually something that I'm really interested in and I studied in school. I actually have some um, like professional training in personality assessments and stuff like that. Not the Enneagram specifically, but it is a area of uh, interest and passion of mine. So I have read quite a few books about 
the Enneagram and but I read them a while ago and the Enneagram's kind of like coming back into vogue right now I think. Um, a lot of people have been talking about it especially a lot of youtubers and this is a book that a lot of people have been talking about and referencing so I kind of wanted to see what all the buzz was about about apparently the new and exciting Enneagram book. So those are all of the books that I got in January and February. Thank you all for watching and until next time, bye!